Hello, my dear subscribers and guests of the channel. My name is Jenny. You are on my channel, Happiness is Within. And today, like every day, daily guidance for tomorrow. And this is the normal format where I can give you more detailed prediction, more detailed spread. Because usually I do the vertical and shorts. Shorts are going viral very often and because now I'm growing my channel in the English speaking community. So I make more shorts because they bring me more subscribers and more views. And if you are not subscribed my on if you are not, I'm sorry, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. On the channel, uh, every day I make videos, uh, daily advices. I have lots of practice, meditations, subliminals on the channel where you don't have to... I know that some of them are in Russian, but uh, as, especially subliminals, you don't need to even to listen, you just watch and listen to the music and everything incorporated in music and your subconscious is dealing with it and your subconscious is changing what you are thinking about and can change your life for better. Everything positive. This is the channel where I give you only positive ideas and even some of my clients, they say, your uh, spreads are so positive. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible, at least because I don't tell people what's going to happen. I usually try to tell people how to avoid something bad to happen, how to act to get things better. <clears throat> so, let's see the advice for tomorrow. The advice for tomorrow is to be open, to be open to feelings. You know, you can show your feelings. You don't have to hide them. Yes, uh, most important in showing feelings is not to hurt people around you, not to hurt anyone around, but uh, if you are going to open yourself to the positive feelings, to the feelings of love, to feelings of happiness, to feelings of content, then you are going to receive the same thing. And this card says that uh, meeting with the lady can help some of you solve your emotional problems. It might be a psychologist, it might be a coach. Like, for example, I can make an example me. When people uh, address me and uh, get the consultation and we work on those questions, what's happening and what to do next. Sometimes it's with uh, cards and sometimes it's with the special techniques. So it would be beneficial to you tomorrow to see someone if you feel down, if you feel unhappy and uh, you feel uh, disbalanced, then it's better to talk to someone, open to someone and tell someone what you feel. And, but if it's happy emotions, if it's content, if it's balanced, then open yourself to the world and you will feel you know, even in the period of one day, you will feel that everything is great and life is great and everything works in your favor. Yes, I already said what the next card says. Everything is in your hands. Everything is in your power. Don't overdo it. Don't, do you know, like, there, is situ there will be situations in which uh, you would want a result here and yesterday. You know, that's how we say it in Russian. I, now I translated it from Russian. Sometimes it's vice versa. When I do the spreads in Russian, I get English words and then I have to translate them too. So uh, don't uh, 
push the situations, try to be more mellow because this is Queen of Cups is mellow, be mellow, try to do things easier. Maybe the decisions are going to be not the ordinary decisions, something extraordinary. Uh, you didn't, wouldn't even expect the decision that is going to come to your mind, but that decision is going to help you look at things easier. Not Try not to hold everything, you know, in your hands and control everything. It is in your power, but controlling everything is not going to help you achieve. Remember that. Okay, let's see one more card. Yeah, exactly. The thing is that uh, past experiences are not letting you be free and feel the freedom. That's why I see that you are closed with your emotions. The past experiences should be just experiences that you do not repeat as if it's the negative stuff. We are talking, okay, do not repeat if it's negative. The thing is, when I emphasize the past and try to explain what uh, makes you not confident or what stops you from achieving if we are talking about the past it's past negative experiences you didn't let it go that's why it doesn't let you live an open and free life so this card says leave the past where it belongs and it, it even in a relationship the past experiences shouldn't repeat if you let them go leave only what makes you feel happy from the past remember the situations where you felt happy content confident so and it's gonna help you in the today and now here and now and it's gonna help you in the future